Hello, and thanks for joining us today for an update on the Judkins Park Station, one of 10 stations along the 14-mile East Link Light Rail Extension. My name is Blake Jones, your Community Outreach Representative for the I-90 portion of the project. If you would like this presentation in an alternative format, please call 1-800-201-4900 slash TTY Relay colon 711 or email accessibility at soundtransit.org. Let's start with a quick overview of the entire project. The blue line on the map represents the existing Link Light Rail line running from downtown Seattle to the SeaTac Airport. In 2016, the system will expand with extensions being completed to the University of Washington and South 200th Street in SeaTac. East Link, represented by the yellow line, will connect to the existing light rail at the International District Station before running east across I-90. 10 stations will serve Seattle, Mercer Island, Bellevue, and Overlake in Redmond. The Eastlake extension is currently nearing the end of the final design process and moving closer towards construction. Construction in downtown Bellevue is scheduled to start in the first quarter of 2016, with additional segments breaking ground as the year progresses. Construction in the I-90 portion of the project will begin in the middle of 2017. The entire project is targeted to open in 2023. By then, extensions to Linwood in the north and Kent Des Moines to the south will also be complete, giving the region over 50 miles of light rail. So let's take a closer look at the Judkins Park Station in Seattle. The station will be located in the center roadway of I-90, currently used as express lanes. Here's an overhead view of the area. Riders will be able to access the station using Rainier Avenue to the west and 23rd Avenue to the east. Connections to the I-90 Mountains of Sound Trail, represented by the green lines, and local bus routes, represented by the yellow lines, will provide a variety of access for users. You can see the platform where passengers will catch a train located on the I-90 roadway in the center of the page. Today's presentation will focus on design changes made to the west entrance of the station at Rainier Avenue. We'll also highlight opportunities for public artwork at the station and the recently selected artists who will be working to create a welcoming and engaging environment for riders. Sound Transit's last design presentation was in July of 2014. Let's see how things have progressed since then. Here we see both the current conditions under the I-90 bridge on Rainier Avenue to the left and the station entrance as proposed in July of 2014 on the right. In order to accommodate this design, the portion of the bridge that currently serves as the westbound I-90 bus stop will be removed as the routes that serve the stop will be replaced by light rail. The removal of the structure results in additional daylight in a traditionally dark area. Now let's take a look at the most current design on Rainier Avenue. The image on the left side of the slide illustrates a design very similar to what you just saw. So what's changed? A stair and elevator were added to the station on the west side of Rainier Avenue as pictured on the right. This addition improves station access by replacing the circuitous ramp system that exists today and provides a more direct connection to the existing pedestrian bridge across Rainier Avenue. The pedestrian bridge will also be enhanced for the light rail station, allowing patrons to access the station without having to cross traffic on Rainier Avenue. And here's a view of the pedestrian bridge from someone standing on the east side of Rainier Avenue looking west towards downtown Seattle. Sound Transit is proposing to recycle concrete that will be removed as part of the East Link project, some of which will come from the bridge removal. This concrete will be reused on the hillsides underneath I-90 and replaces the existing ramp system. Landscaping will be incorporated along the hillside in between the bridges where natural light and water are available. Pedestrian scale lighting will also be added along both sides of Rainier Avenue. The improvements to the pedestrian bridge over Rainier Avenue combined with the additional daylight and new lighting will improve the pedestrian experience along Rainier Avenue around the station. Sound Transit is committed to the communities where it builds and sets aside construction dollars for public art as a result. For an update on the Sound Transit art program, I'm gonna turn it over to Kurt Kiefer. Thanks, Blake. For the artwork at Judkins Park, we're looking to be responsive to the history of change in the neighborhood and are developing two complementary artwork projects to that end, one by Barbara Earl Thomas, who's a local luminary, and the other by Hank Willis Thomas, who's a rising star, and just they just coincidentally have the same last name. Take a look at the areas circled in red as they indicate the locations where we're developing our public art projects. 
The two main project areas are the bookended station entrances and the station platform canopy structure, which is a really long way of saying the place where you'll wait for the trains. Barbara is developing a story in pictures for the places along the platform that I mentioned before. Her story will be loosely based on the idea of a community passing the torch from one generation to another, told in repeating images and made of metal and glass. Hank is developing a series of artworks for the entrances at the station. He often works with photographs that he finds in archives and libraries, and in the case of this project, he'll be working with images related to Seattle's Central District and Judkins Park. We're looking forward to introducing both Hank and Barbara to you um, as their designs progress and look forward to seeing you at those meetings. Thanks, Kurt. So what's next? Sound Transit will complete the final design process for the Judkins Park Station this summer, which will include a public open house to share those plans. We'll then work to wrap up construction planning with the idea being that we'll break ground in the middle of 2017 on the I-90 portion of the project. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at 206-398-5470. I'm also available at blake.jones at soundtransit.org. Thanks a lot for joining us today.